Maggie Linders here. I'm guessing when you read the title of this video, the first thing you said to yourself was, it sounds impossible to make this much as a freelance writer, especially if you're just starting out and only making a few cents a word for your work. But it is possible, and I am living proof. I'm no different than you. I have a spouse and family that rely on me to pull my fair share. So for me, I had to turn my goal of earning $180 for every blog post into a reality. Now, I'm sure you're wondering how I made the leap from writing for a few cents a word to 22 cents a word and more. I can tell you in one word. Specialize. Leaning toward a specialty can open up the world to you financially. I understand that it seems like it might be limiting your potential, but it's really just the opposite. You can write within a niche, or maybe even a couple of niches, and this means that you know more than the average person in those areas. You become more valuable to your clients because your writing is from a place of authority. You become the expert, so clients will pay you generously to write for them. So, how do you become a specialist? And how do you choose a specialty? That's hard to answer in just a few short words, but let me tell you a personal story that I think will help you understand and answer many of your questions. When I decided to escape the 9 to 5 drudgery of my day job, I was in a kind of learn as I went along mode, and it got scary. I mean, I just quit a job that paid really well, and in the beginning, I had no money coming in. For me, I didn't choose my specialty. As strange as it may sound, it chose me. Kind of by accident. Here's what happened. I was in a learning mode, and I was reading everything I could get my hands on about being a successful freelance writer, including how to market myself online. Before I knew it, I was an expert in internet marketing. What I discovered with myself and with other writers is many times your specialty might be right in front of your eyes, and you don't even know it. Although I was becoming an expert in internet marketing, I dismissed it as a specialty to help bring my writing skills to the next level. Ever hear the saying, hidden in plain sight? Well, that happened to me. I had to look closely to see that I had developed a specialty. Internet marketing. Once I began marketing myself as an internet marketing specialist, I was paid much more for my writing. This was one of the ways I climbed to that six-figure-a-year mark. Now, I know that reaching that goal seems like a huge hurdle at the beginning. I remember that feeling well. But it's not as tough as it seems. The truth is, everyone is a specialist at something. Whether you're a parent, know a specific trade, or even spend weekends gardening, if you look closely at your daily activities, you will notice specialties everywhere. Once you notice a specialty, you need to also consider if your specialty is one that will help get you to $180 a blog post. For example, let's say you're an expert at making paper airplanes. That's amazing, and I'm sure it's a lot of fun and your kids love it. But don't make that your specialty. It isn't an industry that businesses are creating companies around. So, what are the industries that can double, triple, or even quadruple your income? Look for businesses that have upward mobility, meaning niches that are becoming very popular, such as dating and relationships, health and wellness, weight loss, making money online, spirituality, finances, and self-help. Another trick to determining if the industry you want to specialize in is a good one is searching in Google with a key phrase for your specialty. Mine is internet marketing. I did a search in Google with this key phrase as shown here. If you see a lot of advertisers as indicated by the red boxes and there are at least two to three pages of advertisers, this means a lot of companies are spending money to get their ads in Google, which means there could be a lot of content opportunities because the industry is competitive and popular. 
A second way to determine if your specialty can be lucrative is through Amazon. Go to Amazon.com like I did here and check to see how many books and products are available for that industry. Simply type in your specialty plus the word book or you can just search in the books category directly. If there seems to be a lot of books on that topic, then you probably have a winner. As you can see here, there are over 28,000 results. Not too shabby. Internet marketing is a great niche. Okay, let's assume you have your specialty. You've become an expert in your niche. But now, how do you get your specialty writing out there so clients will hire you for their gigs? There are industries that have major blogs and that pay really well for specialists who can write blog posts for their sites. They are in competitive areas as well, like photography, computing and IT, entertainment, food and drink, lifestyle, parenting and family, health and fitness, and travel. And the more you get your content out there on blogs like this, the more prospective clients will see your work and want to hire you for their own gigs. This is what happened to me. One way you can find blogs to write for is to do a simple search in Google. Let's use my specialty as an example. If I were looking for internet marketing, it would look like this. All you have to do is insert your specialty instead of mine and add the word blog to your key phrase. Now, take a look at all the results. 262 million to be exact. But you will only have to search through the first few pages and you will have more than enough sites to pitch to to get a gig to write a guest blog or even become a recurring writer. The key is to write for blogs that are in your particular field. And that really is such a key that I have to take a moment to tell you another personal story that helped catapult my writing rate toward that $180 mark for one blog post. When I began writing in my specialty, I searched for blogs that were in my specific niche. Some blogs were paying me 50 bucks a post, others were paying me less, and some were not paying at all. But because they were so popular, I wrote for them as a kind of loss leader. Meaning, I might lose a little bit of money at the beginning, but many prospective clients would read my blog and hopefully hire me at a higher rate. Well, it worked. I was right. Clients contacted me and hired me for their blog. These businesses were not looking for just any old writer. They wanted a specialist, an authority, an expert. What they wanted was someone who could become their voice and embody their brand. Because of my diligence in learning my specialty well, I became that voice. People started to follow my work, and more and more writing gigs fell in my lap until I had to turn some work away. That's when I raised my rates. If you wanted me to write for you, then you had to pay me top dollar. Now I realized that my clients would pay good money for my expertise, and soon I was charging over 20 cents a word and more for online content. It's not difficult to find blogs to write for. One way is in my last example, where you type in your specialty plus the word blog into Google. Another way is to simply be on the lookout on job ad sites for companies that fall within your specialty that are looking for content. If you find one and you show them you are a specialist, you will win out over the other candidates who are not an expert like you. I'm going to walk you through a third process step by step so you can see how easy it is to find jobs writing for blogs. Again, I'll use my specialty, internet marketing. First, query your specialty plus guest blog in Google and hit search. As you can see, there are over 7 million results. I'm going to go to one on the first page. Once there, I can see that the owner of this site is giving the names and links to over 140 best guest blogging sites in internet marketing. Let's click on Write for them next to Kiss Metrics to see what your next step should be. We are now on the page where guest blogging for Kiss Metrics is explained. 
read everything on this page. There is so much great information that covers specifics about the blog, what they're looking for in your writing, and what topics they accept. If you decide to submit a blog to them, go to the bottom of the page and you will see where you can start the guest post process. Click there and it brings you to this page that you should read very carefully. If you don't follow the instructions, your blog will not be accepted. It's very simple and straightforward. Now, this blog may not pay guest posters, but it is a very popular one that could build your reputation. Some of the blogs you write for may not pay, but if they are popular enough, you should consider writing for them to get your name and specialty out there. One more thing that is so important. When your blog gets accepted to be published, you should include a short but compelling bio and a link to your website. And there you go. You're on your way to making $180 a blog post. I am excited for you and know that if you follow my plan, you will be there soon. When you reach your goal, let me know. I love hearing great success stories. I'll see you soon.